Hello, book lovers. I'm Peg, the Book Prize Addict. And uh, first of all, I want to reminisce a little bit about exactly one year ago today when I was in Saskatchewan, Canada for the wedding of our good friend, Sean the Book Maniac and Kenji. And I had a wonderful time and I can't help but think about it. They're there now, which I was with them celebrating. Uh, here's a picture of them in the wonderful little uh, Japanese uh, screen that they gave me, which I have on my bookcase, but I don't have my bookcase in the background anymore. But I want to wish them a happiness, happiest of, uh, of celebrations. And I want to tell them again what a wonderful time I had there and meeting all their bookish friends, all Sean's friends and family. It's just great. Okay, so speaking of Sean, he just put out a video and Believe it or not, he actually admitted that he has a copy of Duck's Newburyport. And I was just wanting to talk about it anyway and uh, encourage him in his reading of it. Um, I, I, I'll just review a little bit about what I had said. I made a video just a, a few days ago about my method of reading it. I actually read 50 uh, pages a day for 20 days, and I just today finished it. Now, a lot of people asked me or said they wanted to know what I thought after I finished it, and I have to say, fantastic. The ending put everything together. It was worth all the lists and, and reading and times when it seemed like nothing was happening. It was just a fantastic ending, and I'm not going to say more, but uh, you're, you're really working towards something by reading it. Um, I want to say also how it, it really helped the method I used to just read part of it every day. And uh, for all those days, I began to feel like I was living in the author's brain. Uh, it, it became, so I really looked forward to reading. I, I knew what I wasn't going to read for hours and hours. I was just going to visit in her brain for whatever time it takes me to read 50 pages, probably an hour. Um, and uh, it just worked out so good to, to read it that way. Um, I want to say just just uh, as you go, as I mentioned before, keep track of the people who are in, in her life now. I kind of underlined them and, and, and tried to remember the people, even though they don't show up a lot. And, and also pay attention to the alternate story that's going on of the uh, lioness or cougar, I believe it is, who in the wild. Uh, who has some cubs, and it just turns out to be a wonderful story, and it all fits in, too. Uh, Sean, when he read the very first of this, um, he read the, um, the part about introducing the lion and her cubs, and I'm not sure if he knew what it was, but that's what it was, and uh, he seemed to like the writing so far. So I, I want to encourage him and everybody else to stick with it. It's just... Uh, I'm just still speechless. I just finished it a few minutes ago, so I'm still speechless. Uh, I, I want to say also that all the lists, people are kind of wary of all the lists, and I mentioned how I just kind of float over the lists. I don't try to figure out why they're in the list, but it occurred to me the lists in themselves show a great picture of America today, uh, the things that we're worried about, the things that we're interested in, and I, I just imagine, I, I want to read this again in about 10 years, and I think it'll be give me great memories. Well, I won't say great memories, but uh, very lucid memories of 2019 and what the things we were concerned about. Uh, who knows what I'll be concerned about then. But I, I think for that reason, it, it maybe has a chance to be a classic because it just gives such a great picture of our world. Okay. So, you know, I uh, practiced on reading this a certain amount of every day because I have a year-long read-along coming up with the aforementioned Sean, the book maniac. We are going to read the humongous uh, two-volume set of the uh, translation of Anniversaries, which came out, I think it came out a last year, but it's actually done. It's Here's the two big ones. It's like two of Duck's Newberry Port, 
but it's uh, written in the form of a journal who's, of a woman who spends a year in New York City and uh, it starts on August 24th, I believe, and we're going to read a, an entry a day and uh, as a joint read. And so, you know, I'm really looking forward to that now because I realized how much I enjoyed reading every day on the Ducks Newberry Port. It got to be my habit. I'd get up, fix my coffee, open it up and visit with this. And I have a feeling this is gonna be the same way. Uh, there are actually some groups on Goodreads that are reading through it. Uh, a group in a you know together and talking about it so anyway I'm really looking forward to that so happy anniversary guys and I really want to encourage you guys to stick with Ducks Newberry Port if you decide to read it and uh, give it a chance uh, okay